Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we have the NBA 2K24 complete badge requirements list. Okay, I'm going to break this down by category. So finishing, shooting, playmaking, and then screens, defense, and rebounding all in that last one. All right, so four different categories. I'll leave the timestamps in the description. We have each requirement in terms of height, rating, all that stuff for bronze, silver, gold, and Hall of Fame. So a ton of information. We're going to dive right into it. Drop a like on this video. If it helps you out, let's check this out. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going over every badge, just like maybe 10 to 20 seconds because there's a 77 badges in this game, I'm pretty sure. I think 77 if I count it right. So check it out. Finishing badges to start. Acrobat, you got max height 611. You see the ratings here, 64, 76, 84, and 90 for Hall of Fame respectively, all right? There's also a bunch of new badges in here that you're gonna see, and, and I'll talk about a few of them, but let's just dive into these ratings. You're also gonna see this, right? So for Fearless Finisher, right? For Hall of Fame, you need 67 strength and either 95 close shot or 95 layup. So you're gonna see a lot of these type of badges where you have a base rating you have to have, and then you need either one, or sometimes I'm pretty sure you need three different ratings three different attribute ratings to to meet the requirements for one badge as you're going to see and and obviously that's going to affect how you make your build a lot all right float game right here it's all driving layup pretty self-explanatory giant slayer max height seven feet and then it's close shot or driving layup um <clears throat> requirements are listed right there obviously pause as necessary masher it's just straight close shot some of these ratings have changed from 2K23, you're gonna see as well. Oop, forgot to space right here just to give it a little bit of a clarity, all right? So, we have Pro Touch, it's either close shot or driving layup. Scooper, looking at straight driving layup rating, 88 for Hall of Fame. Posterizer, this is one of those and badges, okay? So for Posterizer now, you need a driving dunk rating and a vertical rating, right? As you can see, Hall of Fame is 99 driving dunk and 85 vertical, 90, 93 driving dunk and 80 vertical for gold. So before last year, it was just straight off of your driving dunk rating. Now they incorporated vertical into it, obviously making it more expensive, which is gonna limit what you can do with other things in the builder. As I'm gonna get into my builder breakdown video when I'm allowed to on September 1st, okay? So make sure you all sub up. Turn on them noties if you ain't already, because we got a ton of videos dropping on NBA 2K24 early access, helping you guys for day one. All right, precision dunker. It's either driving dunk or standing dunk rating. Rise up minimum height is six foot four, and it's standing dunk and vertical. Right, last year rise up was strictly standing dunk. Now it's standing dunk and vertical. Right, Hall of Fame 98 standing dunk, 70 vert. Aerial wizard. Ton of requirements for this. Right. You need a vertical rating and either a driving layup rating or a driving dunk rating or a standing dunk rating. So I guess I was wrong saying a ton of requirements, but you need a vertical rating and then either one of those three, either your layup, your standing dunk or your driving dunk. Okay, you can see the ratings right here. I mean, for Hall of Fame, you need 84 vertical and either 87 layup, 95 driving dunk or 92 standing dunk. So that's pretty damn expensive for Aerial Wizard. All right, Bunny. It's driving layup or driving dunk. Ratings are, as you can see on the screen. Fast twitch, close shot or standing dunk. Slithery, driving layup or driving dunk, all the way up to 97 layup for Hall of Fame and 94 driving dunk for Hall of Fame. So, <clears throat> spin cycle, same situation, layup or uh, driving layup or driving dunk. Two step driving layup or driving dunk. Bulldozer. This is one of the new, like, power, kind of like bully. Again, I don't want to say too much because I'm. Actually, no, no, no yeah, because my gameplay video dropped earlier. I can talk about this. Bulldozer is kind of like bully, but you don't have to go up for a layup. If you haven't watched my gameplay breakdown video, make sure y'all go check that out because I explain a lot of these new badges in the gameplay breakdown. It's you don't have to go up for a layup like you did with bully. Bulldozer is more of a combination of like clamp breaker and bully on the perimeter where it activates just from you dribbling but as you can see it's strictly tied to strength and you have to be at least six foot five looking at another new badge called whistle it's either close shot or driving layup or driving dunk or mid-range or three-pointer right uh back down punisher you got to be at least six foot four 
You're looking at post control and strength to unlock back down Punisher, okay? I don't know. Did I say or? I mean and. Post control and strength for back down Punisher this year. I think last year it was or. I think you get it from post control or strength. Now it's both, right? So for Hall of Fame, you need 89 post control and 95 strength. You can't just be a big strong dude, but you don't you don't know how to operate in the post. You're not getting back down Punisher. You gotta have both this year. Dream Shake. It is looking at post control and either close shot or mid range, right? So I think before it was strictly post control. Now you gotta combine those two attributes, right? Making it more expensive, like we've talked about. Drop Stepper is straight post control. Hall of Fame is 95 post control. Post Spin Technician is straight post control, 90 post control for Hall of Fame. Hook Specialist is close shot and post control, right? 92 close shot and 86 post control for hall of fame 83 close shot 74 post control for gold and down as you see another new badge post fade phenom i'm actually excited for this one i'm not telling y'all what build i'm starting a game with but i am excited for this badge all right hall of fame you need post control 85 and either 93 close shot or 86 mid range all right so it's another one of those badges where you need two ratings and obviously it's either close shot or mid range. You could pick one of those two, but you got to have the post control to go with that close shot or mid. On to the shooting badges, right? We talked about finishing. Let's go on to shooting. Midi magician, as you would expect, straight mid range ratings. Hall of Fame is 92 mid uh, mid range shot. Agent threes, max height 611, right? So if you if you're going for a KD build, got a 611 and below. Don't you can't go with the seven foot KD build and expect to get agent threes or, or whatever, you know, whatever other tall player you're thinking about making. 611 and below. Agent threes. Hall of Fame is 98 three pointer. <laughs> 94 three pointer for gold, 86 for silver and 76 for bronze, all right? So, I mean, looking at those gold and Hall of Fame badges and some of these, you know, badges at least in 23 that we thought were really good, they're very very expensive this year. Play more. 92 three ball to get hall of fame claymore it's claymore is strictly off three point rating corner specialist strictly off three point rating um limitless range this is a big one big changes to this so last year 85 three pointer would have got you silver limitless now 85 three pointer only gets you bronze 92 last year would have got you gold now that only gets you silver 96 three ball for gold and 99 three ball for hall of fame so See the thresholds for Limitless. They're definitely, they definitely ramped them up, making it a little bit harder to get those shooting, you know, those good shooting badges are very expensive now. 96 for gold. You know what I mean? Like last year on my 6-8 build, I had an 85 three ball silver limitless. You know, combine that with takeover and hot spots and all that stuff. You're shooting from half court. Now you only get it on bronze. We gotta wait and see how the game feels in the park and whatnot and see what actual badge level it is attribute level like thresholds are the most effective but definitely something to think about they're getting more uh you know more restrictive in terms of you gotta really amp up those ratings if you want those higher badges blinders you're looking at mid-range or three-pointer right one or the other catch and shoot mid-range or three-pointer one or the other comeback kid is mid-range or three-pointer dead eye same thing mid-range or three-pointer a lot of these are just mid-range or three right dead eye Green Machine, Mid Ranger 3, Guard Up, Mid Ranger 3, Open Looks, Mid Ranger 3, Space Creator, Mid Ranger 3, but with Space Creator, max height again is 611. Okay, so some of these shooting badges are capped at that 611 height, as we've seen. Spot Finder, another new badge. You need acceleration and either close shot, mid range, or three pointer. All right, this is that badge I think they actually tweeted about, well, yesterday, I think technically it was. Where it's basically like kind of like an off ball like dexer badge right if you dex off the ball you know you playing real basketball you're coming off screens or you know you, you you're 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 clay thompson right you're steph curry coming off a pin down all that type of stuff but in 2k you know we dex a lot off the ball to let the pass drag you into an area all right y'all get what i'm saying anyways you need acceleration in either close shot mid-range or three-pointer and for hall of fame i don't know how good the badge is going to be but for hall of fame it's expensive 93 acceleration and either 91 close shot 90 mid-range or 93 three-point all right free points is strictly based off free throw slippery off ball max height is 69 and it's based off strictly acceleration all right, that's the shooting category. 
as I said, you can rewind it back, pause as you need. We're on to the playmaking. Bailout. This is gonna blow a lot of y'all, a lot of your guys' minds. Max height 6'10. For bronze bailout this year, you need 87 pass accuracy. You heard that right. Bronze bailout is 87 pass accuracy. So if you want to be one of these people going up for layups, contested, and then bailing out and throwing it over your shoulder and throwing it between your legs and throwing all these crazy bailouts just to get it on bronze, you got to go 87 on your pass. You want in a Hall of Fame, you need 99 pass. Very, very expensive to get bailout and the max height is six foot 10. Break starter, they, they, they amp this up too in terms of what you need. Last year, 70, 76 pass accuracy. If I, if I remember correctly, 76 was for gold break starter. Now you need 86 for gold. 75 is only getting you silver, 68 for bronze. 92 for Hall of Fame, okay? Dimer, straight straight off pass accuracy. Bronze Dimer is only 56, but Hall of Fame is all the way up to 96, okay? So a big spectrum there, 40 difference in attributes from bronze to Hall of Fame, definitely spread out. Needle Threader, based off pass accuracy. Post Playmaker, minimum height is six foot six, and it's pass accuracy in either post control or offensive rebound, interesting interesting oh because i think you could get it yeah either off old board kick out or passing out of the post so i guess that makes sense that doesn't make sense relay passers pass accuracy a lot of these are going to be pass accuracy now so relay passer special delivery and touch passer are all off pass accuracy this touch passer badge as you can see they were talking about it on twitter i don't know if you guys saw the other day it's supposed to help you like as if someone swings you the ball and it, just as it sounds you want to throw a quick touch pass to the next guy you want to throw them you know one more one more one more you can't throw one more that's going to speed up the pass animation you're going to get so it's going to be interesting to see especially in pro-am and 5v5 you know gameplay how that touch passer badge works um <clears throat> ankle breaker Right, this is the ball handling category now, but it's basically still playmaking category. It's just like a, I made a little subdivision in here for ball handling. All right, ankle breaker badge. We'll do a space here to make it a little more clear. All right, ankle breaker badge. Maximum height is six foot nine. For Hall of Fame ankle breaker, you need 93 ball handle. This is strictly off ball handle rating, 62 all the way up to 93. Hall of Fame down to bronze respectively. Big driver is a new badge. Minimum height, minimum height is 6'10", right? So your 6'8", your 6'9", ISO builds that you're talking about in 2K23, you're not getting this new badge called big driver. Big driver, 6'10 and above. Hall of Fame, ball handle 69, and speed with ball 65, and acceleration 60. So this is, I think, the first badge, or one of the first badges we've seen that require three different attributes. Now you might say, oh, but well, it's 69, 65, and 60. Don't worry, there's gonna be some that are literally three attribute ratings in the 90s, right? You're gonna need like 90 something Excel, 90 something ball handle, 90 something speed with ball, you're gonna see in a second. But remember, these, these seem low ratings, but this is for big men, right? This is for 6'10 and above. This is for your Giannis build that you wanna make. You want big driver, you gotta hit those attribute thresholds, all right? Blow by, maximum height is 6'11. This is really for those smaller, guards if you want to get this on a high level like obviously you can get this on a uh, 6 10 6 11 6 9 6 8 but you're going to see these attribute ratings once you get in that builder you're going to notice uh, to get it on hall of fame you got to be you're going to have to be a little you're going to have to be a little guard because look at this hall of fame blow by 97 ball handle 89 speed with ball and 90 acceleration so you almost i mean 89 is just below 90 obviously but you basically need three attributes all in the 90s just to get this one badge on hall of fame all right even for gold you need 92 ball handle 83 speed with ball and 83 acceleration so as you could tell by these ratings i can't go too deep in because i have to wait until the embargo lifts on the builder stuff but if you're basing it even just off common 2K knowledge, on a tall build, you're not getting 97 ball handle. And even on a tall build to get 92 ball handle is pushing it. Like how many 2Ks have we seen where you could get 92 ball handle on a, like a 6.9 or a 6.8? Like this doesn't happen. Last year on a 6.8, the highest ball handle you get was 89. So that's for the blow by badge. I'm not gonna dive too deep in because I don't wanna say anything I'm not allowed to say. All right, we gotta wait for that builder video. We gotta wait for September 1st, right? By the way, if any of this is helping y'all out, make sure y'all drop a like on the video, okay? 
trying to help y'all not mess up your first build because nothing worse than making that trash first build on day one and then you gotta buy vc to buy it to to freaking make a new one that shit sucks um handles for days max height is seven feet and it's based off ball handle and stamina right handles for days used to be based off strictly ball handling i think now it's ball handle and stamina hall of fame 95 ball handle 99 stamina pretty expensive right 95 ball handle is a very high ball handle rating hyperdrive max height is 610 and you need for hall of fame 91 speed with ball and 90 speed this is for hyperdrive. I mean, even to get it on uh, silver, 75 speed with ball and 80 speed. Like, you guys are starting to see how they're tying things in, tying attributes together to unlock certain badges, making it more expensive to make a really, really old, like well-rounded build that's good in every category, right? You could be average in every category, but to be elite in every category, it's tough because you have to upgrade multiple different things, right? You can't just cheese one rating. Like you can't just put my speed with ball up to get hyper. No, you need speed and speed with ball. Like we, up here to get blow by, like we said, you can't just be like, oh, I'll just put my ball handle up to 97 and I'm good. No, no, no. You need 97 ball handle and 89 speed with ball and 90 acceleration, right? So that's that's really taken away a lot of attributes you would would have wanted to put elsewhere. Killer combos, max height is 6'10 based off straight ball handle rating. 93 ball handle for gold, 98 for Hall of Fame. Physical handles, a new badge, max height is 6'10, okay? Hall of Fame physical handles is 80 ball handle and 83 strength. You see how it goes down from there. I'm very interested to see how this badge ends up working out and if it's going to be worth it or if it's another uh, wasted like strength strength badge, like how uh, like Bully kind of turned out. I have a feeling that well, I don't want to say anything. I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm, I'm going to wait till the build it thinks I can't talk about certain things. Okay. Speed booster. This is basically your quick first step now. Speed booster is essentially your quick first step. The max height is six foot nine for Hall of Fame. 95 ball handle, 91 speed with ball, and then either 92 speed or 93 excel. Very, very expensive. Think about last year, right? It was called quick first step. It wasn't called speed booster, but essentially last year for this, to get it Hall of Fame, all you needed was 89 ball handle. That's it. It's basically cheap and it's probably the best playmaking badge in the game because it makes you speed boost faster. But they changed it now. Essentially to speed boost faster, I mean, the damn badge is called speed booster. Looking at 95 ball handle, 91 speed with ball and either 92 speed or 93 excel. Even on gold, look at gold. 92 ball handle with 83 speed with ball and either 86 speed or 87 excel. Like that's, it's expensive. To get three of those ratings, that's putting a lot of attributes into that area. The last two badges we have for playmaking, triple strike. Max height is 611. You need ball handle and speed with ball and acceleration. For Hall of Fame, 90 ball handle, 89 speed with ball, 85 acceleration. Last but not least, unpluckable. It is based off of post control or ball handle, just like last year, but that's only up until gold. To get Hall of Fame unpluckable, you can only get it off ball handle this year. So like last year, people would make those builds with 95 post control to get the Hall of Fame unpluckable. You can't, you can't finesse it like that this year. 98 ball handle for Hall of Fame. Post control, or for gold, I'm sorry. For gold, post control 80 or ball handle 92, right? So for Hall of Fame, 98 ball handle. Gold, you can either go 92 ball handle or 80 post control. And then as you see it trickle down 68 80 or 57 70. okay screens defense and rebound is the last category brick wall based off strictly um strength okay 99 strength for all the fame 90 for gold anchor minimum height is six foot seven this is based off interior defense and block rating okay this is anchor so 99 block 85 interior for hall of fame 92 block uh, 77 interior for gold so on and so forth chase down minimum height is six foot three hall of fame you need 94 block and 71 speed and 83 vertical so just for chase down artists this year you need three different categories you need block speed and vert and you got to be at least six foot three okay as you see it trickle down to gold silver bronze 
post uh, post lockdown minimum height is six foot six and this is based off interior defense and strength ankle braces strictly off perimeter defense challenger strictly perimeter defense clamps for clamps this year it's not just perimeter it's perimeter and strength now the strength rating you don't need a ton but you do have to invest some into strength to get clamps right hall of fame is 99 perimeter and 60 strength 90 for gold 93 55 silver 85 50 and bronze 75 45 so you do have to invest some into strength to be able to get clamps and obviously clamps helps with bump animation so it does make sense that you would need at least some strength Fast Feet is a new defending badge that helps you slide your feet laterally quicker. I talked to Wolf who worked tirelessly on the builder and on 2K24. And he talked about this badge a lot and how he thinks it's gonna be a, a, a good badge for lockdowns. Maximum height is six foot nine. To unlock it, you need perimeter defense and acceleration. So like last year, I've seen people on Twitter talking about this too. Last year, lockdowns would go high speed and low excel because excel didn't affect how they slid their feet ladder slid how they slid their feet how they slide their feet laterally i don't know the right way to say it excel didn't affect how they slid their feet and excel didn't affect how fast they ran so there's no reason for them to have excel but now obviously if fast feet turns out to be a good badge you need acceleration in order to unlock the badge at any level but you definitely need higher acceleration to unlock the badge at higher levels so it's almost like one of those things where even if acceleration doesn't affect how you run up and down the court, which Wolf said it doesn't, he said it's just like 23. And he also said acceleration doesn't affect how you slide your feet, your lateral quickness, your lateral quickness is still tied to your perimeter. What acceleration does affect is your ability to unlock fast feet and fast feet affects your lateral quickness. So even though the rating doesn't necessarily affect the way your player moves laterally, it affects if you're able to unlock the badge and the badge affects how you slide your feet laterally and change direction when you're when you're in your defensive stance so that's kind of like i don't want to call it a safety net but something that they did to make every attribute matter even when in terms of game movement it doesn't affect how you move but it affects you getting a badge that affects how you move i know i just said a whole bunch of stuff maybe you need to rewind that but i think it made sense <laughs> I feel like it made sense if you listen to that whole speed. All right. Off ball pest is strictly perimeter defense. Pick dodger. Max height is 6'10, strictly perimeter defense. Glove, max height, seven feet. And it's strictly based off of steel. 99 steals for Hall of Fame, 91 for gold, 85 for silver, and 72 for bronze. So they lowered the uh gold threshold. Last year it was 95. Now it's 91. Um, I think silver was. 85 last year and i don't know what bronze was last year but yeah they lowered gold for sure uh hall of fame is still 99 interceptor 95 steel for hall of fame i think last year it was 99 and then gold last year was 90 now it's 89 all right so 95 89 81 60 respectively from hall of fame to bronze right stick ripper this is a new badge max height seven feet 96 for hall of fame 90 for gold that's the one where you use the right stick and if you flick it in the right direction it helps you get either um glove steals or if you flick it for a lane interceptor steals immovable enforcer Me uh, minimum height is six foot five this is a badge that wolf explained to me basically it's a badge that will help you win those body up animations not only on the perimeter but also in the paint okay so it's in i'm gonna be interested to see how this works out in terms of how lockdowns play and stuff like that but it's based off of strength, strictly off of strength, a, a, a defensive badge that helps you on the perimeter and the paint, basically 100% uh, based off of strength, okay? Immovable enforcer. Basically a counter to all those new big power playmaking badges that we saw earlier. 94 feet max height is six foot eight and it's based off perimeter defense and stamina. Pogo stick, minimum height is six foot four. Pogo is based off of vertical and either block, O board, or D board. You see the ratings right here for Hall of Fame. You need 83 vertical and either 97 block, 97 O board, 97 D board. Workhorse. Even something as simple as workhorse. This year, you need stamina and either interior defense or perimeter defense. And think about it on Hall of Fame, you need 99 stamina and either 93 interior or 94 perimeter. Like, that's pretty expensive for a badge like workhorse. You know what I mean? I forget what workhorse was tied to last year. I think 
I don't even remember. I think it might have just been interior. And it, I think it was pretty cheap. I could be 100% wrong. I'm not sure about workhorse. Yeah, no. I'm a scorer. I don't know. I'm not making a lock. Um, <clears throat> last but not least, the two last badges, rebounding badges. Box Out Beast, minimum height, six foot three. Box Out Beast this year is based off strength and either O board or D board. You see, for Hall of Fame, you need 90 strength and either 93 O board, 93 D board. And last but not least, we have Rebound Chaser based off of strictly O board or defensive rebound. 99 for Hall of Fame, 92 for gold, 83 for silver, and 60 for bronze. If you haven't checked out my NBA 2K24 gameplay breakdown, that video is on the screen. I'm going to catch you on the next one.